Hello, my name is Haisam Amin. I go by Sam. I'm the founding attorney here at Amin Law in San Francisco, California. Today we will be discussing California Penal Code Section 241C, commonly known as assaulting a peace officer. I will also discuss what the DA will need to show in order to secure a conviction, as well as defenses in order to prove your innocence. Three things the district attorney's office will have to prove in order to secure a conviction pursuant to California Penal Code Section 241C. Number one, the DA's office will have to prove that the defendant willfully committed an act that would result in the application of force. As an example, harmful or offensive touching of a peace officer. Number two, the DA's office will have to prove that the conduct committed by the defendant would be understood by the reasonable person as conduct that would be harmful or offensive. Finally, number three, the DA's office will have to prove that the defendant knew he or she was actually assaulting a peace officer. Few things to remember. No actual touching has to occur or take place. For example, if the defendant throws a rock at the police officer and the rock doesn't touch the police officer, that could still be construed as an assault. Also, no actual injury has to be shown. You don't have to injure a police officer in order to be convicted of 241C. Finally, the statute doesn't just protect police officers. It applies to firefighters, EMTs, and even traffic officers. Now, everyone's favorite part, defenses. Three common defenses that can be made or argued in court in order to prove defendant's innocence. Number one, no assault. For example, defendant shouted at the police officer. Number two, the assault occurred on a non-protected class. For example, you assaulted someone that's not a peace officer or not protected pursuant to California Penal Code Section 241C. It could still be an assault, just not pursuant to the protected class under 241C. Finally, number three, self-defense. In order to make that argument, you have to show imminent danger and it has to be reasonable force. Finally, punishment. If you are found guilty of California Penal Code Section 241C, you will be convicted of a misdemeanor with a county jail up to one year and or a fine of up to $2,000. As always, thank you for watching. I have a team of professionals who are ready to help. All you have to do is pick up the phone and give us a call. If you found this video educational, I'd greatly appreciate it if you can share it. Of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.